So you need to retain all the emails sent and received in your Microsoft 365. For compliance purposes, can you do that in Microsoft 365 or do you need a third party tool? We'll find out in today's video. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company called Integral IT and we help businesses all over the UK with their IT support, their Microsoft 365 and the cybersecurity. Now please do me a favor, if you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Now in my previous video, I talked about how to enable an online archive in Microsoft 365. This is incredibly helpful for people who have lots of emails and they need more storage space. But there's one important thing to know when it comes to an online archive. The user is fundamentally responsible for what they keep and what they delete. The online archive is really for user convenience, not compliance. But what happens if you're a business who needs to retain data for a certain length of time? Time. The most likely reason for this will be compliance. There's Sarbanes-Oxley, there's HIPAA, and there's also different sectors who need to retain data. Here in the UK, law firms, accountants, and businesses in the financial services industry need to retain data for a certain length of time by law. But even if we're not talking about retaining emails for compliance purposes, I think email retention is a good business practice. Email is such an important part of our business communication. There's so many emails coming in and out of our businesses every day. So why not have an email retention policy? You never know when it might be used. Maybe down the line for a customer service inquiry, or maybe down the line when you've sold someone something and they've got a query, or something else. Now you might be sat there thinking, I don't really get this email retention thing. I always keep every email in my mailbox anyway. So why do we need an email retention policy. But if you run a business, you've most likely got people working for you. How do you know how they are handling their email? Perhaps they're deleting email just to clear up some space or because they think they don't need that particular email anymore. Or it might be for a more malicious reason. Perhaps someone's leaving the business and they've decided over time to delete the contents of the mailbox. And what if in two or three years time, you need to really dig out an important email? How can you guarantee that that email email is still within your Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Without retention policy, you can't. And there's also another side to email retention. Some businesses decide that data that is over a certain age should be deleted automatically. So they might decide any email that is over seven years old, we don't want to keep anymore, get it deleted. So what is the answer? Well, you've probably guessed the answer. The answer is an email retention policy. An email retention policy is something that you can create in Microsoft 365 that ensures that email is kept for a certain length of time, even if users delete it out of the mailboxes. Now in a moment, I'm gonna hop onto that computer behind me and show you exactly how to create an email retention policy in Microsoft 365. But before I do, one final thing. Please don't confuse an email retention policy with a backup. I see so many people doing this. A retention is not a backup. What's the difference? Well, if you wanted to restore an entire mailbox from a certain point in time, you wouldn't be able to do that with an archive. And likewise, if you wanted to dig out that email that Jana in customer services sent to the chief executive of your main customer on the 12th of May, 2019, you won't have much luck with a backup. For that, you'd need an archive. So an archive and a backup are slightly different. In fact, no, they're very different. So without further ado, let's hop onto that computer behind me and I'll show you how to set it up. So to create a Microsoft 365 retention policy for email, the first thing we need to do is log into the admin portal for 365. So I've just logged into 365 and you can see I've got access to the admin portal here. So when I launch that, I get into the admin portal, which is here. What we need to do is go down here to the compliance center, okay? When we launch the compliance center, we'll be in here. Then we need to scroll down to data lifecycle management and into Microsoft 365, okay? From here, you can see along the top, we've got some options. Now, of course, we want the retention policy option. So we go in here and there's none here at the moment, but we're gonna create a retention policy. So I'm just gonna call this my business 
email retention policy, but you can call it whatever you need to call it. You can put a description so when other admins are looking, they can see what this policy does. We'll then click on next. We'll keep that as static and we'll click on next. Now you can see here what locations do we want to retain information for. Now we can retain data in SharePoint sites, OneDrive accounts, so you can ensure that people don't delete data and documents out of these things. And you can even see you can do this in Teams channels as well. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to talk about email retention. So I'm going to switch these off. Okay. Now you can have multiple retention policies as well. So I'm going to include this for all recipients and I'm not going to exclude anyone. So you can be quite granular if you want to include certain teams or exclude certain people. We're then going to click on next. Now this is the most important screen because it's deciding how we want to retain delete data. Okay, so the top option here is we want to say retain items for a specific period. So if you've got compliance things in place where you need to retain information for say 10 years, you can choose that, you can choose a custom one or you can choose seven years. Okay, so that's important when it comes to compliance. If you're creating a retention policy just for that feeling of knowing that everything is kept, again, you can choose what period you want to keep it for. Now the next option here, so it's start the retention period based on when an item was created or last modified. So take for example if this retention policy was covering a SharePoint site with lots of Word documents in. A Word document can be created one month and it might then not be altered for another year. So we might go into it and make some updates. So this is what this setting is here. Do we want the retention policy to start when we created the, the data or when it was last modified? For email, we're going to keep it as when it was created. And then what do we want to do after that seven years has lapsed? So we can set this policy that after seven years, items will be deleted. So you've got to be careful with that because if people in your business don't know that email is retained and then they try and dig out an email from eight years ago, it will be gone. So with that setting, it will be deleted automatically. So in this case, I'm going to say, actually, after the seven years, I'm just going to do nothing. And if the person decides to delete it, they can do because we don't need it anymore. So that's the first setting. What we can do instead is ignore all this and just choose this option here. Nice and simple. Please retain items forever. And 365 will do that for us. Now there's a third option as well, and that's only delete items when they reach a certain age. So we're not talking about retention at all. We're just saying, actually, when something hits seven years old, delete it anyway. Okay, so that's the third option. But you're more likely to be using these two options here. So I will keep it at this and I will click on next. And that's essentially it. Once we submit it, it takes about 24 hours for the retention policy to become active. But that is nice and simple. It's how to retain emails in Microsoft 365. So I hope you've enjoyed that video on email retention. Email retention is primarily for compliance purposes, but I think every small business should have one set up. I look forward to seeing you again soon.